All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, taking a quick moment to do this vlog. I've had some guys ask me, what do I use turkey season for equipment? So I figured, hey, quick second, let's go over the equipment that I run. Um, and then you can tell me what you guys use. Uh, starting off with every single season, I use this underlayer. Uh, it's called Bug Skins. Uh, it's made by Cabela's. It is tight around the ankles and also around the wrist. Uh, keeps all the chiggers and ticks off of you. Works really well. Um, also for ticks and chiggers, I use permethrin spray. If you guys don't know what permethrin is, seriously, pick some up. Uh, even Dix carries this nowadays. It's a spray that you spray your gear, your vest, camouflage, whatever you're gonna use, you spray it uh, 24 hours before your hunt. Um, it keeps the ticks and chiggers off of you. Um, here in Virginia, including the other states in the country, uh, Lyme disease is getting to be really serious. Uh, and a lot of people are, are, are getting um, really sick from it. So seriously, pick some up. It's not expensive and it makes a huge difference. Um, also for bugs, here in Virginia, I use a thermocell here in the springtime. Uh, keeps all the mosquitoes off of me, works really well. Uh, when it comes to actual camouflage that I use, um, I've been using uh, moth wing gear for a few years. Uh, this stuff's getting hard to find. Um, I've had to sew it up because I can't find any more. Um, it's made by a moth wing and it has a sort of a leafy pattern to it and uh, works really well. I use a Old Tom's uh, vest that works really well. Of course, I've got my uh, face uh, shield here to keep my face from being spotted. Um, also, I use for decoy wise, I use this lady right here. This is the second lady in my life. Uh, she's made by Avian X. Uh, if you guys don't have one of these, uh, invest in one. It's not the cheap uh, foam ones that don't look very good. Uh, this looks super. You take it out of the bag, you set it up, and it looks real um, from a distance. This is an awesome one. Pick it up. Avian X, they make great turkey decoys. Uh, if you don't have one, invest in the money to get one. Seriously, you won't, you won't waste your money. These are great decoys, so really awesome. Um, when it call, comes to actual calls that I use, uh, mouth call wise, I use a flex tone. Uh, flex tone for me fits really well on my mouth. Um, I yelp really good with it. Uh, so I really, I always go to this guy. Uh, so I use this a lot. Uh, my go-to call is my real hen, my box call made by Woodhaven. Um, these guys aren't cheap, but this is an awesome box call and I love this to death. I've dropped it and beat it up, but you know what, I would not go to anything else. This stays in my pack and always use this. Uh, Shell-wise, I use uh, three inch heavy metal. Uh, works really well for my gun. Uh, Gun-wise, I run a uh, Stoger M2000. Yeah, it's not top of the line, but it kills things and that's important to me. Uh, it's got the short turkey barrel on it. Um, I run a Bushnell a red dot. Uh, so this combination with the heavy metal shoots really well. Um, so I stick with it and it's got a Primo's uh, jelly head uh, choke in it. So those guys work uh, well together and for me that's the important part. It's not about how much you spend in gear, it's about if the gear works. So this is what I use. Uh, last but not least, uh, super important for me is to use uh, X Out UV. Uh, I brought this out a couple years ago and, and guys this is the only UV elimination spray made for bird hunters. Uh, so turkey hunters, this is super important for us. Um, there's times when you're hunting and you may get a turkey that hangs up and you can't figure out why it hung up. It didn't come in like you thought it was going to come in. Perfect setup, didn't see you, but it didn't come in. Well, sometimes that UV glow can come off your camouflage. Uh, modern camouflage puts off a UV glow um, that wild game see and they won't come in. So pick it up www.xouthunt.com uh, makes a huge difference and it could be the difference between getting a bird and not getting a bird so pick it up uh, next we're going to go out and i'm actually going to sight in uh, my shotgun i haven't sighted in since last year uh, so we're going to sit down and do it i kind of sight mine in a little bit different than, than other guys do uh, some guys like to shoot from a table or stand up and shoot but like most turkey hunters, we're on our butts by a tree. So when I sight in my shotgun, I sit on my butt. So I'm gonna bring out the old beach chair and we're gonna sit down and we're gonna sight this bad boy in. And I'm hoping that it won't take too many shells. And so that come opening day, I'll be ready. All right guys, thanks for watching. This is what I use for spring gobbler season. 
Let me know what you use. But remember, be safe this season. Aim straight.